Welcome to Wednesday Morning Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. College visits keep rolling in, so pay attention. Remember, you need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the lineup for October. Today, we have two visits scheduled. The first comes from the CU Boulder Reps during advisory. Then at lunch, the Barbizon Modeling School will be in the Lower Commons. Tomorrow, the U.S. Naval Academy team will be joining us in Bowers Gym in room 501 during lunch. CSU Pueblo will be here on October 11th, and then on the 16th, the reps from Ozark Christian College scheduled a visit. Rounding out the end of the month is Pikes Peak Community College, who scheduled their visit for the 30th. The Colorado Council on High School and College Relations is coming to WHS for a college fair on October 24th. From 1 to 2 p.m., this will be an opportunity to learn which colleges best fit your needs. If you want to check it out, you should check in at the Counseling Center for the details and then register online. We'll be announcing the November college visits close to the end of the month, but if you cannot wait or miss some information, Check the calendar in the counseling office or check their website for those dates. Juniors and seniors, WHS is hosting the ACT test on Saturday, October 27th. If you need to get yourself registered, check in with the counseling center or go to the ACT.org website for other test sites, dates, costs, and registration information. One more note for juniors. Remember, the PSAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifier is next week. The deadline to sign up and pay for the test is this Friday. The cost is $16 and the first 20 students who sign up and pay will have priority. The date for the test is next Wednesday, October 10th. Seniors, Herf Jones will be here in the Lower Commons during lunch this Friday to take your class ring and cap and gown orders. The sooner you order, the better. You should have received your Herf Jones order packet at the senior meeting, but if you need one, Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Center can help you. If you are not going to be here on Friday, you can put in your orders online. And now, let's head to the sports desk with Ethan Simon for scores and upcoming events. What's the scoop, Ethan? It's Woosh Wednesday, Glads. Woosh! I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our boys' soccer team hosts the TCA Titans tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. Come out and support your Glads to another victory. In tennis news, our boys' tennis team is at regionals today and tomorrow at Cheyenne Mountain. This is a change due to impending bad weather on Friday. Swing that Gladiator power, fellas. Joey Stroop spent his Monday and Tuesday at Flying Horse Golf Course at the 4A State Tournament. On Monday, Joey shot an 88, putting him 16 strokes behind the leader. Here is how he ended his state berth overall. We're proud of you, Joey. In volleyball news, our Lady Glads traveled to the Purple School last night but couldn't get their sets together and dropped an L into the books. Keep your heads up. Remember, the fourth annual Dig Pink Volleyball game is next Thursday, October 11th against Sierra. The ladies ask that everyone wears pink to this match to raise awareness and show support for people fighting breast cancer. The team will be collecting donations and have a special presentation before the game for a breast cancer survivor. Our Lady Glad softball team returned from Elizabeth last night but couldn't get their magic bats to work and took a loss. The ladies have a critical game this afternoon against the Purple School at 4 p.m. When the ladies beat Mesa, they have a chance to secure their regional playoff spot. So let's get out there and cheer them on to another victory. Go Glads, beat Mesa! In cross country news, we have an update to the Northfield invite. The cross country team competed under the lights in near perfect conditions and had their best performance of the year as 23 of the 20 four runners who competed ran personal records. On the ladies' side of the team, highlights came from Sophia Mena, who ran a 1929, and Caitlin Anderson, who ran a 1947. These ladies ran the two fastest 5K times in school history. And close on their heels were Alyssa McLean and Maddie Rodriguez, who ran the fourth and sixth fastest times in school history. The men also clocked impressive times. As mentioned on Monday, Ryan Outler led the pack and won his third consecutive race with an impressive time of 15:31 and the second fastest time in school history. Miles Mena, Brandon Williams, and John Cabrera all finished in the top nine as the boys won the varsity team title. On the JV side of the house, JV racers John Jefferson and Evan Gutierrez finished third and fourth respectively and both ran a varsity qualifying time. In total, the boys and girls had 12 
12 runners run under 20 minutes, including the first two girls in school history to break this barrier. Way to go, Glads! The next meet for the team happens this Saturday at Fountain Fort Carson. Come check out some of the fastest runners on campus and cheer them on to their next victory. Our Gladiator football team is headed north tomorrow night to the D20 Stadium to take on the Rampart Rams at 7 p.m. Let's hope the team can keep up its momentum from Friday night's win. We'll have scores for you on Friday. Our Mighty Glide marching band is headed up to Parker, Colorado this Saturday, October 6th to compete in the Legend Festival. We look forward to hearing how well they did and we'll have information for you next week. In forensics news, the team is preparing for its first World Schools debate of the season at Discovery Canyon High School on October 11th. The team has been busy polishing their skills and we will bring you results next week. And our last update for the day comes from the Swim and Dive team. Ladies interested in joining the team this year, be sure to attend the informational meeting on October 15th at lunch in room 110. Please check with Ms. Wickberg if you are interested but cannot attend the meeting. Stay tuned on Friday for Damon's Daily Dose when we'll hear about how simple sugars affect our brains. That's your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great Wednesday and best of luck to all of our teams. Now back to Moose and Daniel for more news. Thanks for the update. Glad. Student Union is open in the library every day after school from 2.45 until 4.15. Remember, you have to have a participation sticker on your ID to stay and play. Get those from Mrs. Price in the main office. The Drama Council is having a hat day on Friday. Buy your hat bands for $1 tomorrow at lunch in front of the main office or Friday morning before school starts. And now, here is Seth Ryan and Miss Betsy with our lunch menus for today and tomorrow. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're having a new item. It's beef and broccoli. I hope you'll enjoy it. Come on down and taste. On Thursdays, a meatball sub. Wonderful, wonderful. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Today. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait for lunch today. Students, if you owe money on your lunch account, please pay those charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Students, Mrs. Murphy still has some space left on the trip she is hosting to the Galapagos Island next June. If you are interested in joining her, please check in with her sooner rather than later so you can get your trip planned. Likewise, Miss Melton will also be hosting students on a trip. This one is headed to England, Ireland, and Scotland and is scheduled for June of 2020. If this is a trip you are interested in joining, the parent meeting will be on October 17th at 6.30 in room 103. See Miss Melton for details and information. Seniors, October 19th is right around the corner, and that's when your senior photo and quotes are due. See Mrs. Kennedy in room 103 for additional details on how to submit those for the yearbook. And if you haven't ordered your yearbook yet, you can order yours today in the business office, or you can go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55 until the end of November. Students and staff, the blood drive is tomorrow in the small gym, and there are still a few donations times open a few reminders for donors including alternates please be sure to eat a good breakfast and drink lots of water prior to donating bring your driver's license not a military or school ID you can still sign up in the business office and walk-ins are welcomed see miss Melton in room 103 for more information and details that's it for our Wednesday edition glads I'm Luke Santos and I'm Dan the man Robinson and this is your KWHS news have a fantastic day